Hello, my name is William, and this is the Triangle of Doubt, Part 9, in the Fight for Our Souls. For he has just got as good a chance as any, as you get into heaven, and it may be he has a better chance than most to get into heaven. He knows that they were better than most, and will avoid his pitfalls. You look at people reading this, they will say, where does this person get off telling us that Hitler was a goody goody, like any other man? Who the hell does he think he is? There is the seed of doubt working his magic at once again. Think love this time instead of the seed of doubt, where he seems to be working you like a puppet, just like he did Hitler. Whereas you that tried all your life to keep the good Lord's promise and love in your heart, Think you know better and are better than evil people. Think again. Know the seed of love to feed on you. So think this is a surefire way to give your soul to the seed of doubt. Let's just say Hitler was outside the gates of heaven begging to be let in and asking for your help as you walk towards the gates of heaven. Do you stop and laugh? Say to yourself, He's got what he deserves and bypass him straight into heaven or do you stop and give him a hand? God has given him just like he has forgiven you and everyone else on the planet and you, you already know that. So do you know you're in heaven, a pop God and says, why did you not help your neighbor into heaven when he asked you for help? Then you reply, did you see who it was? No way was I going to help him. There's sin and there's sin, and Hitler was the worst of the lot. So why should I help him? Does a good Samaritan ring a bell? It should. That was Jesus preparing us for our souls. He did not tell us because it was a good story to tell at the time. The good Lord knows that Uncle Nick will still be working on you and still be telling you that this person is not worth saving and feeding your mind with. If you help this person into heaven, God will not be pleased with your one little bit wrong. The good Lord wants you to help everyone when you get the chance, even though it could be Uncle Nick himself. To do this kind act and help your neighbor into heaven when he asks you for help is saving your place in heaven for all time just like the good Lord promised. This is the only one way the seed of doubt can take your soul. There are another billion ways the devil can sow the seed of doubt into your mind and take your soul away from the, the truth. So you think that all this love that God teaches you with, he wants your soul through the threat of evil. Get real and with the program. Yes, you are damned if you don't repent. You are damned and living with the devil, and that is his way you want you to go. God accepts this, but that does not mean he does not love you still. God knows only too well the seed of doubt, and he will never stop, stoop down to his level to catch your soul. God tells you the truth, and still he forgives you when you are caught up in the seed of doubt that Uncle Nick preached to you. Always remember that our God of love is there for you always. As I have said before, even when Jesus died for our sins on the cross, he was thinking of us, asking his Father in heaven to forgive us our sins. He knew the real reason. He knew the weakness in man to follow the path to the light of truth and the seed of doubt. Offer a man the heavens, and he will follow you into hell to get it. That is why God has wiped the slate clean. When you arrive on the other side, no sin there. God bless.